Oh, it's you again. So I suppose you have arrived for even more gaming news, right? So this is kind of a happy one. Let me show it to you. I just stumbled upon Liam's uh, news. Uh, Liam is uh, is the author of this webpage. You can check out his page. Uh, he writes about gaming on Linux. So if you're into that, feel free to check it out. So what he wrote is that Linux finally broke the um, 2% of uh, Steam percentage. And if we check this graph, you can see how it's going upwards from uh, years before, right? And one of the things he said that it actually did broke this percentage previously, but that was uh, when Steam was new on Linux. Uh, so I guess it kind of died down after that uh, and settled with a lower number, much lower number. But it has been steadily growing ever since. And we all know that Steam Deck really helped this operating system, if you want to call it a platform, to grow and I think that's really good. I, th I think we who play games on Linux are like in a symbiotic relationship with this device. I might not play a lot of games on my Steam Deck. I like play when I'm in, in bed or maybe on, on the couch in, in some places where when I'm not at the desk, right? So when I'm at my desk, I will most certainly uh, play games on my main PC, that's for sure. But for everything else, Steam Deck is very cool. And developers are taking notice of this device, right? People are buying it and people expect games to work on it. So from one side, Valve uh, made this effort to push gaming on Linux uh, on their way and developers are taking notice and trying to make sure that they do, their, their games don't uh, fall apart, right? So as I said in my previous video, uh, how Rare, Sea of Thieves developer, made sure that uh, anti-cheat works on Linux. They first enabled it, then they broke it by accident, then they made sure that it works again. But it, it's a good thing, right? It, the, the, you can see that we have support now and um, for the for the good part it's due to steam deck so we can't really deny that and i think two percent is really good and what is going to happen next month i would dare to prognose uh, or, or to guess that the number will be even slightly higher uh, because of the um, microsoft recall if you remember that news right and why do i think that Linux uh, gaming will rise even more because of Microsoft's recall. Well, I'm not sure about the long run. I'm going to be honest. I'm not sure about the long run, but just for the next month, I am absolutely sure that even more people will be testing Linux to see if it fits their needs or not. I'm going to be here for every one of these new users and attempt to uh, welcome them into our community and hopefully some of them will stay and see how good it is to not have their private data sent via various telemetry to Microsoft and let's not dig deeper into this topic. So one of the one of the things that uh, is uh, important on Linux is do multiplayer games work? I mean when you think of single player games they pretty much all work now. I think it's phenomenal. Uh, but of course, there, there is always this one game which doesn't work and usually it's a multiplayer one and usually, usually it's due to anti-cheat. So Linux has anti-cheat. Uh, for example, Easy Anti-Cheat, very popular solution. It works on Linux. It's, it's certified for Linux. BattleEye, uh, also quite, quite a popular one, also certified for Linux. Uh, but there are some games among these 7% uh, who simply refuse to enable those. So it's like Fortnite uh, uses, of course, uh, easy anti-cheat because it's uh, made by Epic. But for some reason, Epic does not want us to play that game on Linux. So it's denied for us. Uh, also Destiny, I'm going to keep mentioning their name in every video I can because I think it's very shameful from them. 
and I, I really don't have a problem saying that. I mean, Bungie, your game has been tested to work properly on Linux. Your anti-cheat system, BattleEye, has been certified for Linux, and you disable it for us, and you threaten to ban us if you see us playing on Linux. I think this is really shameful, and... Um, I, I don't know. Why why do you do that? Is it so difficult to enable Battle Eye and give us just a tiny little bit of support? I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. So if you look at these stats, you can see basically that more than half of uh, games that have anti-cheat are actually uh, working on Linux. A lot of them are broken, but I think this percentage is going down day by day, month by month. So we, we are getting there, right? From my personal experience, all the games that I play, except for Destiny, which I have dropped, are actually working. I am talking about multiplayer ones with anti-cheat, right? I think uh, this is really good for me personally. Uh, does every game that you want to play work for you on Linux? Uh, you can check out on this webpage, are we anti-cheat yet? And let me know what you think about us crossing 2% and whether you think that next month we will see a slightly higher percentage. See you in the comments.